This is Rakhine State in western Myanmar, a coastal area divided by rivers, creeks, and most recently, strife. For centuries, people have fished the ocean here, peacefully. But recently, that tranquility was shattered. In October, a wave of violence broke out in eight townships. Dozens of people were killed, and homes were burnt in both Muslim and Rakhine villages. Thousands fled. Their escape route? Their boats. Each boat was crammed with 80 people. There weren't enough boats. The fuel was for the engine, but it ran out. The boat sailed aimlessly for two days before hitting land here at Sintet Mall. Other boat people from Pauto landed in Anoye. The displaced people set up makeshift shelters on paddy fields using whatever materials they could find. The host community cannot absorb all the displaced people. Some people have set up tents on the shore. Others are sleeping on boats. UNHCR has distributed plastic sheets, blankets, and other relief items. These may help the displaced in the short term, but longer-term solutions must be found. There are obviously major security concerns from the IDPs, who would not feel comfortable returning to locations where they had been previously attacked. So a large part of our work will be henceforth to work with the government to see what they will be putting in place to safeguard uh, anybody who chooses to return. Any return will need a lot of careful planning. Many of the villages have been completely burned down, and security is still frail. For now, transit camps offer temporary respite and safety. In the coming months, more assistance will be needed to help the inhabitants return to their traditional way of life but mostly, they will need peace.